March 2017, we have a couple nice features to make you more productive. So let's take a look at some of them. Over here in the Feature Manager tree, if I wanted to see all of the names in here for the configuration and the display state, then I'm pretty much eating into my graphics area. Well, SolidWorks has solved that. I right click on the very top level, I can go to the tree display and tell it not to show the configuration and the display state if only one exists. So you can kind of see that really cuts down a lot and gives me my graphics area back. Next, if I have a couple part files that are the exact same thing, like washers and nuts and bolts and things, we have the option in the same little area to group component instances. So you can kind of see it's got a little bit different icon than a subassembly, but what it's doing is it's actually grouping those guys all into the same node uh, on the feature manager tree. So this makes it to where it's a little bit smaller on your large assemblies, and you can find your files a little bit easier. But enough with the feature manager tree, let's get on to some mating. So I have a subassembly that's completely underdefined, has all degrees of freedom available, and when I select on a face, you'll see a little teeny tiny plus sign. Well now what happens is I'm gonna hold down control, select on the other face, and you see that little plus sign. When I do a coincident mate, it puts those two plus signs together. So that way it's not just rotating or moving this thing to its closest or simplest solution. It actually puts those little points together, which is about where, where you should want them. So next, let's go ahead and uh, put a concentric mate on these guys. That looks good. And then let's put a concentric mate on this guy. Now the holes may not actually line up. But let's go ahead and select them anyway. So I'm gonna pick on both of those. I'm gonna do concentric. And we'd always got this dialog box that says, hey, add it and break it, or you can add it and over define. Well, now we actually have a cancel button. So if I hit the cancel button, it actually cancels it. It doesn't actually put the mate on there or anything. So that's pretty good, it's still available to move. So let's go ahead and put another quick little relationship on there just to line it up. And next I need to put these uh, screws in. Before, what I had to do is right click and drag this thing around and position it to where it was fairly close to where the coincident mate worked. Well, in this case, all we have to do is select on those, make it coincident, and it puts it in where it should. So this makes it pretty quick and fast and easy. So let's take a look at this subassembly. I'm gonna open it up in its own window, and I may have downloaded this off of the vendor's website, as a subassembly, and when it came in, it came in with all these individual parts. But when we order it, we just order it as one part number. So it's a lot of overhead in the uh, assembly. So we can always uh, save this out as a uh, part file. But now we have the option to preserve the geometry references. I'm gonna use the exact same name, but it's gonna be a part now. So now you can see that I've got a part file, and each of these are individual bodies. And what happens is now the face IDs that were in the original assembly are actually transferred to the individual part faces. So what that does is when we go back to the main assembly, then we can substitute out this part. So we'll replace components. I'm gonna select on that part file, go and say okay. And all of the mates are, are, are fine. So that's a pretty big time saver. But what if I had a drawing that had all the uh, dimensions and balloons and things like that. So let's open up the drawing of that assembly. And you'll notice that all the balloons that are referenced to the correct faces, all of the edges from the dimensions, those are still maintained. And that's gonna save you a lot of work. So you can see how SOLIDWORKS 2017 is gonna make you more productive in assembly.